bubonic plague speaks to his therapist after Desiree Gallo Giacomo. I need to know if someone can fix me. It's really hard living with this, you know? Killing everything I want to hold. I was in love, and I knew it would hurt. It always hurts, right? Love is always the open mouth of the mass grave. She was a dancer when no one was watching. Humans have funny ways of dealing with grief. Her family made bonfires behind their rural home, hoping to hide in the smoke. They heard how I would work, how I was too shy to introduce myself outright, but that's exactly how I found her that trail of embers. The first time I saw her, she was dancing. Her untainted flesh, a smear of white, the color of flames licking her orange. She was more alive than anything I had ever seen. The night I finally approached her, she stopped cold in the middle of a doorway, her face contorted with fear. She looked at me as she begged for others. Stab wound, animal attack, swift poison, anyone but me. My love is a sickness, a bucket full of dirty water. Everyone's holding their breath around here. Even you wear those herbs in your fucked up mask. I know I'm awful. I don't need to be reminded. But have you ever thought about death? Death is always such a greedy bastard. He's always taking. And it didn't really matter before, but I really wanted her to live long enough to want me. Instead, I had to leave a bouquet of flowers on her doorstep the morning she died. It was the only gift I was ever able to give to her because my love is not a gift. It's just something I don't know how to do without flinching. We're turning the most tender things to bursting boils and dust. I'm so tired of being alone, but I'm more afraid of this. There is nothing on this planet that mortality won't touch. I loved her, and I would have ripped that feeling right out of me if I knew where to find it in here. I don't want this shit to happen again. Some say I was born in the belly of a ship at sea and then catapulted over siege walls until I was old enough to find my feet. My entire life has been a journey towards her ending. Some days love feels like this unbreakable commitment. God, I hope it's not. Please. Please tell me that there's a way to get out of this. 